Welcome to Learn Fast with RK. Do you know what are the different types of the files? What are the different modes of the opening files? What is the use of the buffer? How to copy a JPEG image file to another image file? How can you encrypt a text file? How can you navigate to a desired location in a text file? Count how many lines and then how many number of the words in a file? Why you cannot open a video file in a text mode? Did you ever created a text file using a python code? If the answer is no, then this session will help you to find the answers for these questions. Let us get started. Welcome back to this session. In today's session, let us learn about the files in python. The files are said to be as in persistent storage on the memory which are referred by a name. Any unstructured data in your computer will be stored in the format of the file. Python provides a good interfacing through this programming to access the file. In this module, let us learn about how the Python can help us to access these files through the program. To start with, a file in the Python is referred by a name. We have a method called as an open method with a syntax file name mod buffer. This buffer is an optional one. The file name is the name of the file on our computer memory. Mod will tell us what is our intent of accessing this file. This buffer will tell us whether you want to provide any auxiliary space or a buffer space during the reading or writing of the file. By default, this will be 0. If you mention 1, then it will provide an additional buffer. Any positive number will add to the buffer. Any negative number in the buffer will give the default buffer space. This is an optional argument in the open method. Coming to the file name, file name is a string which will represent a part of the memory. This mode will tell us what is our intent of using this file for. So normally there are two different types of the files. One is a text file, other one is a binary file. A text file is one where the access of the data will be happened in the form of the characters. Whereas in the binary files, the data will be accessed in the form of the bits and bytes. For example, if you open any notebook file or a notepad file, the content in the notepad file is easily understandable in the human being format. They are written in the sort of the textual format. But whereas if you open an image or if you open any video file or if you open any audio file, the content in the video file or an audio file will not be displayed in the character format. In order to access that sort of the files, we will use this binary mode. There are three different modes of accessing. First one is a read, write, append mode. We are also having different versions for this read mode. Read mode is represented using the R. Write mode is represented using the W. Append mode is represented using A. If you mention the read R plus mode, that does mean you can perform both read and write. If you use W plus means, it will perform both write and read. If you mention A plus means, it will open the file with a read, write and then append capabilities. There is a significant difference between this append mode and then write mode. Whenever we open the file in the write mode, there will be a fresh file opened in that format and then the contents will be added to the file. But whereas in the case of the append mode, the previously written content will not be deleted. That content that you are writing fresh will be added from the end of the file. All these modes are available for the text file processing. Whereas in the binary files, the same modes appended along with the B. Normal read mode will become RB, normal write will become WB, append mode will become AB and we are having the extensions for it RB plus, WB plus and AB plus. By default in the file name if you mention only the text file then the file will be stored in the current working directory. If you want to mention any particular path you can also mention that particular path using 
the path string. Let us see an example how we can work with a file for text file processing. In order to perform any of the tasks, we need to open that file. Let us say open file name some sample comma we need to use mode of the operation we need to mention here we are having an option called as in write mode and we are not using any buffer default so we are just letting it as it is the default buffer will be zero itself no buffering is done now check this open function will return a file object so if you say f equal to open what will happen after the execution of this code it creates an empty file with the sample if it is already existing also it will overwrite the sample file and then now it returns one file object and stores it in f now this f can be used in order to perform the operations over this file let us execute this part now we are able to successfully create a file now in order to write any content to the file we are having two methods one is a write method other one is a write lines method now let us write a string into our sample file in order to write any string into the sample file f dot write of let us say welcome to python after successful writing we just wanted to close this file we have the method called as close which can be callable by using the file object now let us execute these three statements after execution of these statements it will open an empty file called as a sample and it writes the content of welcome to python in that file and afterwards it will close now let us check where where this file created this is our sample file open this sample file it has welcome to python in it if you want to add a new content to this file i just remove this welcome to python and say hi now again run this code what will happen let us go on then check this sample file is having hi instead of hello why because the previous content is gone in this sample file now newly added content will be overwritten in the sample file for example you don't want to do like that if you want to add the content to the existing one then you need to open this file in append mode let us execute this code and then check what will happen previously our sample file is having the content high now if you execute this code the sample is having high and then high again suppose we want to uh, we want to add one more thing hello world now the contents in the sample should be high high hello world so that is how we can write in the append mode now you could able to find out the difference between write mode and then append mode the write mode will overwrite the existing file always starts a fresh file with the same file name and then contents will be written from the beginning whereas in the append mode the previously opened file will be opened at the end position and the content will be added from the ending position so that is why the previously written content in the sample file is not erased and the newly added content will be append to the previous content so this is how we can create a file and then write content into that now let us uh, read the file and then display what is the content here in order to read any file we need to have an file object f or equal to open our file is sample comma we want to open it in read mode now in order to read the file we have a function called as a print of f r dot and now f r dot what this f r dot read will do let me explain you what will happen first it will open a file 
sample in the current working directory because we haven't mentioned any of the path here in the read mode and it will return the address to this object. Now fr will point to the beginning of this sample file. If you execute this part fr.read method, read method will read all the content from the file and then it will return that. So the content which you read will be in the form of the text as I already told you that this read mode R is used to access the text file content and our file is also a text file. Hence fr.read function will return a string and then that will be printed as it is. Now if you execute this part you can get the content of the sample file and then display that. See now the content which is there in the sample will be hi hi hello world. Read the data from the file. This read method is also will an argument an integer based on the how many number of the characters that you want to read based on that one you can also mention that for example I want to read three characters if you execute this code it will read first three characters from the file hi h i h we are having one more method called as a read line method this read line method will read one line of the text from the file since in our sample file we are only having one line we are getting the content as it is for example let us add one more line so this is one line and this is uh, another line now let us execute this code we are having completely two lines right first line and then second line from these two lines we want to get only the first line that is how we will get it if we want to repeat this entire process then you can write down on a loop and then this simply for a in f r so that is how we can print all the content line by line this is as simple as that now if you go on then check this is this will be content in the sample now let us see uh, some more functionalities with these files. Now I want to copy contents of the first sample sample into sample 1. If you want to copy the contents of the sample to sample 1, then we need to open this sample file in the read mode and then we need to create a new file called as in sample 1 which is in the write mode and copy the contents of the sample to contents of the sample 1. So let us write down the program to copy content file copy. So we need to have a two file pointers one is in for file reading which is our input file open our file is in sample right and then we need to open the right pointer fw equal to open sample 1 this is a new file in write mode the advantage of the write mode is to create a new file if the file is not existent it will also overwrite the content of the file if it is already there now we have the two of the file pointers we need to read the contents of the first file let us take a new object a string object let us say um, buffer equal to fr dot read this will read whole content from this file and then store it into buffer now if you want to write this content into another file then fw dot write a field. After for performing reading and writing, we can also display the contents here. Simply print of buffer. Now we have for dot close 
fw dot log. It is always a good practice whenever we open the file after performing the task we need to close that file so that there won't be any further modification happen in over the file that we created. So now execute this part. Let us check whether the copy contents were copied from the sample to sample 1 or not. If you open the file, we are having the two of the files. One is a sample, other one is a sample 1. Let us open the sample 1. So the contents in the sample and then contents in the sample 1 both are same. Uh, you need to read the file, encrypt the file and store it into another file. So, this is a one more example file encryption. So, in order to encrypt the file, we need to open the file as it is in the read mode, input file and then we need to create a new encrypted file. So, fr equal to open of sample comma read mode. Now we need to open the encrypted file. So fw equal to open of comma write. Now what we need to do? We need to read the character by character and then we need to encrypt. So encryption is a process of converting the normal text or a plain text into a cipher text. A cipher text is nothing but the meaningless text which will help hackers preventing and understanding the file content. We will use this encryption technique. So, I am going to explain you very preliminary encryption technique which is a substitution cipher or a Caesar cipher where one where one file where one character is replaced with another character. Here we are using the key value as let us say 1. So now first of all what we need to do, we need to take the buffer, buffer equal to fr dot read, this will read all the contents in the buffer. Now this is a text string, now let us convert that into character, if you want to convert that into character then for j in buffer convert that into on ORD, ORD means ordinal value. Now it fetches the character by character. Now we need to add the key value to this character and write that character into the file. If you want to write the character into file, fw dot write of the character. If we directly write down the character j, then the same contents will be there in a sample encrypt. But our objective is to encrypt this data. If you want to encrypt this data, now we need to use ORD function which will generate an ordinal value of this j and then we are performing the key value let us say 3. Let us also print the same for our verification purpose. So after writing all these things fr dot close and then fw dot close. Now let us execute this code. I just add one more function called as a chr function. The ordinal value will return an ASCII equivalent value for the character that is read from the input file. But the write method will take only the character input in order to convert ASCII character after addition back to the character mode. This ORD of J is a ASCII character and this ASCII character will be appended with the key value which is our shift. And then now the resultant value will be an ASCII value. Again we need to convert this ASCII value to the character by using the function called as a CHR function print method that will also print the contents of this same what we are writing into the output file. Now in order to get uh, instead of getting the new line if we want to get end equal to this gives this will print all the content in only one single line for our visibility purpose. 
so now let us execute this code and check so this is how we got that output now let us uh, verify whether file has been modified or not we are having both the files sample this is our plain text content and i am just opening encrypted file so the sample file is now converted as a sample encrypt file if you observe we are having the line numbers 1 and then 2 now they were shifted to 4 and then 5 and then this content what we wrote become an useless content which does not make any sense so this is what called as in ciphertext every single character you can also append uh, some new character so likewise also you can encrypt so that is one more technique i will show you that uh, in this case we added the content right so instead of that uh, we want to append after every single character we want to append some buffer so in order to use that buffer after fw dot write fw dot write of some letter k i'm just hashing this the character what i have done after every single character i am appending the character k done let us check what is the content of in the sample so now it become again a useless content which does not have any meaning for it so this is how we can uh, convert our plain text in the sample file as an encrypted file so this is one of the application file encryption we can use the file processing let us also do some more file operations over this file count how many number of lines are there in this file in sample first we need to open our file this is our input file so file read mode open open our input file is sample and we are opening it in read mode returns file object now we need to read the contents of the file into some buffer buffer equal to fr dot read and then we need to check how many lines inside this file so in order to use that i am taking one variable line counter initially i am giving it as a zero iterating through the buffer and verifying whether the k equal to backslash n or not if at all if it is a backslash n then we need to increase the counter by one so that is how we can count how many number of lines are there in our given file so let us display the print number of lines comma line count no semicolon here line count equal to line count simply made that change and after all this process fr dot this module will open the file in read mode and read all the content into the buffer now initialize the line counter with zero and then we are iterating through every character in the buffer and check whether the given character is equal to backslash n or not and then we can increment this line count by one whenever it encounters backslash so the number of lines is two let us check whether the count function will work for this or not count how many backslash n f buff dot count of we are having the character value backslash i'm just printing the value it has written yeah successfully return the content so this is a shortcut form which is an a predefined method which is available in iterator what it will do uh, in the given list or our given content uh, how many number of occurrences of the backslash n is first return the value so this is the code for checking how many number of lines present in the given file so our file sample is having two lines so the result output is two lines now let us check counting how many number of words in the given file so that is our task now you can print directly length of words because this split function will split the string into words and then if you execute this code so there are totally six words in. so that is how easily we can perform operations over this text okay now let us check how we can read the contents of the binary file let us take so we are having pp.jpg file image let us try to read this file in the text format and check whether we are getting it or not and in the mode read mode let us directly print print of fr dot read now fr dot so it is giving us an error karma product can't decode the file so that means uh, the content what we are reading in the not our desired format a small modification i suggest here instead of the read we are going to use the read binary option so let us modification let us execute this code and check done we are able to display the content of the file in the binary format here if you observe all this content is in the hexadecimal format suppose if we want to copy the contents it is same as our previous text file but the only change is read binary instead of the read mode that is only the difference 
copy an image so in order to copy an image we need to have the two files one is a input file other one is an output file fw equal to open of now pp1.jpg comma it should be in a right binary mode now whatever the content that you read the same content you need to press a key equal to fr dot read w dot write fr dot close fw dot so this part of the code will copy one binary image file to another image file let us check whether it is working okay, let us open all files now we are having the two images previously we are only having one image now let me open it and check so these are the contents this is my image even this pp is also having the similar kind of the image you can check so that is how we can able to copy one file to another file in the binary mode now i would like to explain you how we can perform a random access in our file we need to remember two of the functions one is a seek function which will change our file pointer to our desired location it will take two arguments one is an offset second one is an when the offset value will tell how many locations you want to move when will have three values zero represents the beginning of the file one represents the current location two represents the last location suppose if we want to move two bytes from the beginning then we need to write down seek of 2 comma 0 suppose from the current location we want to move two locations then 2 comma 1 let us now check how this seek function will work so what we need to do first we need to open any file fr equal to open up and instead of the beginning i want four locations from the beginning and from there i want to read the value seek of 0 comma sorry, 4 is our offset comma 0 fr dot seek of 4 comma 0 puf equal to uh, fr dot read and printer so what i have done we open the file and then move our file pointer from the beginning to four locations and then we try to display the content from there now if you see the first four locations one space high were missing and after that whatever the content is there from there onwards we could able to access that so that is how our seek will work other kind of the function is called as an tell function so the tell function will return what is the offset displacement from the beginning of the file after you move four locations from this so then you can say fr dot tell you can also print that right print of fr dot tell it displayed four that means from the beginning we move four locations and from there we try to print the content of it please find the code used for the demonstration in the description section given below thank you if you like this video please like share don't miss any update from this channel click on the bell button and subscribe now